So I originally made this video uh, talking to a couple of my buddies about the Pajaras stuff that happened this weekend. So basically, Guzma Pajaras, very known for like really cranking submissions, especially heel hooks, things like that. Like really, really bad submissions to crank. And a lot of times, you know, it's the, the person's tapping, he's still going, which is fine. But once the referee touches you, you should be like ready to stop. Like once you're feeling the tapping, you, you're getting ready to let go. And the second the referee touches you, it should be the happiest thing in the world for you because the fight's over, you've won. You let it go. There's no need to do extra damage. You're just kind of being a dick if you keep cranking. Um, but he's kind of a dick. He kind of cranks a little bit extra. Uh, pr pretty much every single time, he's always cranking it hard. Um, so I went back and looked at some videos of how quickly I release. So the second, the way I timed it is basically the second the referee touches me until I stop creating pressure. Let go, release, whatever. And I did the same thing for him. Now, it's not the best way of doing it because... Uh, you know, there's only 30 frames per second, so you, you can break it down further in a thousandth of a second, but you can only break that second into 30 pieces. So it's, it's some of the numbers are gonna look the same, but it's as accurate as I can make it, and I think it tells the whole the whole story. So uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, fights. I think I did six of mine, six of his, completely random. I didn't I didn't cherry pick. I didn't do whatever. I just picked submissions, and uh, and I went. And, you know, maybe there's an outlier in there somewhere. I don't know, but I th I think it tells a pretty good story. So. Basically, uh, you know, we're gonna start with with mine. So this is my fight against Melvin. Happens pretty quick, immediately. Like one point point one eight four. This is Brandon Melendez. This one, I was pretty much like ready to go. I was letting go before the referee came, so that I, I consider that a zero. Uh, Gabe Rudiger, I was ready to go, ready to stop right away. Point two two nine. Uh, Jeremy Stevens, a hidden arm lock. It's nice. Point five. That was, I think, that was my longest. Point five oh three. Uh, Jamie Varner, 0.229, ready to go again. Every single time they uh, go, Kurt Warburton, 0.040. I was ready to go the second his shoulder popped bad. I was pretty much letting go before. So my average is 0.199 seconds over six missions. Here's Baharis, 0.728. So three quarters of a second, heel hook. Heel hook is bad. Another heel hook, three quarters of a second, 0.728. People screaming in agony. Uh... 0.9 seconds. That was Fitch. That was a bad one. 1.4. That is an eternity. Almost as bad as 1.544. So, uh, and then here's the Jake Shields fight from this weekend. Again, really bad. 1.134. He tried to sucker punch him. I think it was pretty warranted. Uh, so, Paharis was 1.074 over 6. Uh, so mine was 0.199, his was 1.074, so he's five times more than me. Uh, I think it's pretty bad. Uh, you know, I, I think he's being dangerous. I think that, you know, I love jiu-jitsu. I think it's awesome. But for me, the best thing about jiu-jitsu is, you know, like the respect that's shown and, you know, not being a dick about things and not cranking submissions and, you know, beating people and giving them the chance to, to stop and tap before there's real damage done. And I don't, I don't feel like he's embracing jiu-jitsu like that. I don't know what the deal is, uh, but he's kind of a dick. 